Hi, welcome back. Welcome to this four court film for this absolutely stunning 2016 Land Rover Discovery 4. Uh, this is one of the last of the line and also the sort of top of the range um, last ever model for the, um, for the Discovery 4. Uh, this is called the Landmark. It's, uh, like I said, absolutely top of the range. They threw pretty much all of the um, specification at these models, which is why this is probably the most uh, sought after model in the, uh, in the entire Discovery 4 lineup. It also boasts that beautiful and iconic uh, Land Rover Discovery shape, uh, first seen in the Discovery 3 back in 2004, and then continued through to the 2004 uh, with an all new model, but, um, but very much keeping the same kind of dimensions and, and uh, an overall look and feel to it as well. Uh, which is why, again, people much prefer these uh, over the, the newer versions, which is why a lot of people refer to these as the last proper Discovery. It's finished in Santorini black, absolutely beautiful colour, uh, polishes up amazingly actually, it's, um, it's just had a two stage detail but it really does look absolutely fabulous, uh, really really lovely, very very deep gloss um, that you get in there. Um, this being the landmark, there's a couple of additional extras that you, you get over and above the, the sort of standard discoveries, but as this is one of the very, very last ones in the facelift, you've got the new style LED uh, lights up of the front here as well. Um, and then the landmark also gets the gloss black uh, sort of side finisher there for the grill and also the um, landmark badging on the side there as well. I also get these five spoke split alloy wheels. Um, these are all in absolutely perfect condition, having recently just been refinished and fully uh, acid dipped and powder coated as well. So they are in absolutely perfect brand new condition. Um, stone chip wise, not really a huge amount to, um, to point out. Uh, this car has actually uh, only covered 38 and a half thousand miles. Um, it's at the moment, at the time of, of making this video, is the lowest mileage landmark uh, that's available on Auto Trader with a dealership um, and, uh, and it, it really is in absolutely stunning condition um, when you look around it obviously uh, the, the higher mileage ones do sh normally show a fair bit of sign of wear um, you've got a couple of small stone chips as you'd, as you'd expect but certainly nothing excessive whatsoever um, all the way down the side again mirror housing and everything like that all in absolutely perfect condition there's not a huge amount to point out to you here we've got a uh, privacy glass to the back of the car um, these windows actually it's funny on a black car it looks completely different but um, you don't actually get to, uh, to, to see the, how the glass goes right up to the roof up here um, and also not only has this car got uh, three sunroofs but it's actually quite interesting when you look across the roof line there it's, uh, it's almost like a panoramic sort of fixed glass part um, but when you have a look on the inside you'll actually see that it's three separate sunroofs. Um, round to the back again extremely good condition no marks on the plastics or anything like that here all the way around, all the bumper corners, all free of any marks. And overall, presents absolutely beautifully. Under the bonnet, three litre turbo diesel engine, plenty of power. It's also the, uh, the, the later um, Euro 6 one, so it's absolutely fine for you, Les. Uh, and also features things like start top stop technology as well, so it's um, slightly more economical than the um, than the previous versions. So, uh, having a quick look on the inside, start at the back here, and immediately you see the screens in the back of the headrests here. This is a, another item that you get as uh, as part of the landmark edition. Um, so you've got a television or DVD player uh, up front, and in the back. You've got the screens here as well. We've also got two sets of uh, wireless headphones as well as a remote control as well. And then coming through to the back here, we also just lift this section up. You can actually connect by USB um, or with broadio visual cables in the back here um, and, uh, and be able to play whatever you'd like on the, on the rear screens. Uh, you'll also just see while we're here, we'll just point out the fact that the car has heated rear seats as well as heated front seats as well. Again, that's part of the landmark edition. Uh, so yeah, very, very nice to have the, uh, the proper factory rear seat entertainment. And also while we're here, we'll just show you these sunroofs as well. So you've got not just one, not two, but three sunroofs across there. Like I said, it's a fixed glass panel that's up there as well, but really, really nicely done. Each one of these has got a pull across blind as well. But there is actually quite a heavy tint and they're heat insulating glass on the back there as well. Um, so all very very good indeed. Uh, you'll see in the back here. We've got the third row of seats up uh, Very very simple. You just um, pull the seat forwards here uh, So that you can climb through to the back and um, I'll just do a small demonstration in a second of, of the different sort of layouts that we've got in the boot here as well um, But again all the seat backs everything like that completely free of any kick marks. It's all been really well looked after 
absolutely nothing to point out to you here. You've got this wonderful soft Windsor leather with the kind of uh, almost like white stitch to it, or light grey stitch. Um, again, very, very nice condition. Absolutely beautiful. It still smells nice in here as well. Really, really lovely. Round to the back and open the tailgate up. Obviously, on these ones, you've got the split tailgate, uh, and also you can sit on the uh, on the back there as well. Um, it'll take the weight of, uh, of two people, uh, and also quite handy for sliding objects in as well. And um, obviously, you've got the rear seats up at the moment, but we can slide those down to give you the normal size boot. And then the next row of seats as well also fold down to give you a bit more space and then they can actually be further lowered down so that it gives you a completely flat floor in the back. It is absolutely huge in here. I mean, um, you can carry all sorts of stuff in here. It is massive, absolutely massive. So really, really handy when you do need to be able to uh, take larger items. Uh, and then obviously everything just pops back up and you've got either the normal um, standard configuration for three passengers in the back uh, or the additional two seats in the back for the um for to make it a full seven seater and i can say actually it really is extremely comfortable i'm um six foot and i can sit in the back seats um with with people in front of me totally comfortable i haven't I'm, you know knees aren't all crushed up towards me at the back or anything like that it is actually massively comfortable um even for a, for like an hour's journey or something like that so yeah no complaints there at all Let me just close all this down The car is uh, also fitted with keyless entry as well, so we've got, uh, got two keys for the car. Uh, it's the Land Rover style normal key here. Um, but as it's fitted with keyless entry, if you just walk up to the car, you can either lock it by pressing the button on the side, and you'll see the power folding mirrors come in. Uh, and when you want to get into the car, you just walk up and just put your hand on the door handle. And as long as the key is on your person, in your bag or something like that, um, then it will, uh, it will automatically unlock the door. That can actually be turned off. We've um, been hearing a, a lot of uh, issues with theft, a vehicle theft from, um, from people with keyless entry. Uh, if you would like us to turn that off before taking delivery of the car, that's not a problem at all. We can do that for you. Um, and then you'll just use it as the traditional remote key and just press the buttons as well. So it's, um, yeah, if, you, if that's something, if the car is uh, going to be street parked or not somewhere secure, um, then, uh, then I think it's probably a good idea to disable that. So, um, across here on the doors, um, really, really beautifully finished. You've got this wonderful soft leather all the way across the top here with the stitching and everything like that continuing. Piano black inlays, again, very, very smart. And then you've got the memory here for the, uh, for the driver's seat, for the steering column and the mirrors and everything like that as well. Um, so you've got uh, three memories on there. This car's also got the full Meridian surround sound system. Sounds absolutely fantastic. Really lovely quality of sound. And if we just look at the interior, Driver's seat bolster in very good condition. You've got all your controls for your seat movement and uh, lumbar support and all that kind of stuff there on the side as well. Uh, automatic headlights, automatic windscreen wipers. These are also the adaptive lights. Uh, and also this car has been upgraded with the high beam assist as well. So the, the, the lights will automatically uh, dim when uh, a car drives towards you and then go back to full beam when the car passes you. Uh, we've also got this absolutely beautiful black, piano black sort of finished uh, steering wheel here as well, all leather stitched. It's heated, you've just got the buttons there on the side. Then you've got all of your uh, controls for your media and telephone and voice control and everything on this side. Uh, cruise control on the left hand side and then you've also got the paddle shift here for changing gear automatically as well. Um, but really, really lovely. Again, not gone all nasty and shiny, a lovely matte finish to it with all the stitching and everything like that in fantastic condition. And you also see all of the instrument binnacle and leather that continues all the way across the top. So it's a very premium cabin in here. Really, really lovely. Um, and also in, uh, in all in fantastic condition as well. To look at the mileage today, 38,718. Uh, I don't imagine that will be going up uh, too much anytime soon. Um, across on this side, you've got your, the control here for the, uh, for the steering column as well. So it's electric, you can just move that in and around. And it's also got the easy exit function as well. Uh, if we press the uh, start stop button with our foot on the brake, you'll see the automatic gearbox selector rise out of the dash here. And then this is nice and easy to use. Just simply twist and turn and then that tucks away when you're not using it as well. Um, up to the uh, main panel up here, we've got heated seats, as I mentioned, heated front and rear seats. Also the uh, dual zone climate control, so separate temperatures for driver and passenger on, the, on either side. Uh, then we also have heated windscreen 
which is fantastic in the winter. It just means that it'll actually defrost uh, extremely quickly um, in about sort of 30 seconds as opposed to having to wait for the fans to do their job. Heated rear window and just all of the other controls here for your, uh, for your climate control. We've got a reversing camera, um, so we just turn the parking sensors on and put it into reverse. You'll see a very, very good quality camera coming up on there as well. And then it also just shows you the, uh, the individual parking sensors that, you, that, you're, uh, that you're using at any one time. Down here, uh, this is all of the controls here for your uh, off-road settings and everything like that as well. For instance, the terrain response system, so we can chop and change these for uh, driving on ice, uh, on sand, in mud ruts, and everything like that as well. And then we've also got the controls down here for your uh, air suspension. So uh, it's fully equipped with air suspension. We've actually just put a, uh, a brand new compressor on the car. Uh, the previous owner didn't tend to use the suspension so much; um, just left it in normal driving mode all the time. And um, I think from from that, it can generally, if, without being used. All all the time, um, they can um, they can almost sort of seize up and, and not be uh, not be quite as effective. So we've actually put a brand new uh, one in there, and it all works absolutely perfectly now. Just demonstrate the uh, car going up and down, very very nice and smoothly. Um, you then also got uh, high range and low range for obviously serious off roading, and also hill descent control as well, which is um, again a very very handy um, feature, especially in things like snow and ice. Uh, and then the eco button down here, that's for your start stop technology. Up to the uh, main screen up here, beautiful old traditional clock, which is really nice to see. And then we've got the full touchscreen um, setting us up on here. We've got everything for your media. Um, so in here we've got uh, DAB digital radio. We've also got uh, normal FM and AM stations. We've then got Bluetooth audio streaming. Um, and then if we go through to the television section, we can watch digital TV up here. Um, obviously not when moving uh, at the front but you can for the back and if we hit rear media this is basically where the driver can, can, can control what the uh, the people in the back here are seeing um, so if we go to left right source we can either have radio and everything like that on the back of there or we can also put the TV on for the rear passengers hit sync and we should yeah, have TV in the back there for both rear passengers. So again, you can also put things like DVDs in there um, and have it. And then obviously uh, the people in the back, if the driver doesn't want to be listening to the TV, um, you can have the uh, TV for the back with the wireless headphones and have uh, the driver can be listening to the radio up front. Um, so again, a very, very cool system to have. Uh, obviously we have satellite navigation. This covers you for the whole of Western Europe. It takes full postcodes, uh, very, very nice and easy to use. Um, all pretty simple. Uh, Bluetooth for your telephone obviously as well and then we've also got things like this 4x4 menu this will actually show you uh, where the suspension is currently um, set so it's in access mode at the moment so the car's nice and low down if we turn the steering wheel we'll see it's actually showing the wheel moving and we'll show all of the independent parts of the suspension moving around and everything like that as well which is quite cool uh, all of the things for your special programs and then you've also got an off-road compass and everything like that as well so very very handy for driving to the shops um, time climate, this is also another feature that the landmark editions have. Um, this basically means that you can set it up um, each day, so not much use in the summer, but in the winter, absolutely fabulous. You could uh, set a timer, so if you know that you leave the house at 7.30 in the morning, um, you can actually set the uh, the climate pre, um, pre-warmer on there. Um, and it's got a small diesel heater, and it'll actually start to defrost the car uh, and warm it up for you. So it's um, you should basically just be able to get in in the morning and drive away. Um, it just operates it for 20 minutes in case obviously you, you don't end up making that journey. Um, but it's uh, yeah, it's a very very clever system, and, and um, certainly very very useful in the winter time. Um, I think that's pretty much it up the front. Um, mentioned things like this, the Meridian sound system again, a very very good quality. Um, you've got storage up on here as well as connections for USB and your auxiliary as well. And then a lower glove box down here with a bit more space with everything in the back there. You get these lovely independent armrests for driver and passenger, and then a decent sized cubby and storage down here as well in the center section. But all very, very nicely finished. Plenty of 12 volt sockets dotted all the way through the car. 
If we just turn it off, you'll see that disappear away. Yeah, I think we've pretty much covered off everything on the inside. I hope you found this video useful. It really is a, uh, an absolutely stunning example uh, in very, very good condition. Um, We've just done a full service on the car, including uh, the uh, ch change of air compressor, um, which I mentioned for the suspension. Uh, it has a very recent MOT. We've just put two uh, brand new tyres on the back of the car. The front tyres uh, have, have got over six millimetres of tread left on them as well, so they're all um, in fantastic condition. There's absolutely nothing for the new owner to do anytime soon. It's had a full service with absolutely everything done, uh, as you would expect. Um, we've got two keys, the rest of the, uh, the sort of service information as well as all your books and handbooks and everything like that as well. So it really is all up together and a fantastic example. And as I mentioned, one of the lowest mileage landmarks available on all street traders today. Uh, thank you very much again for watching. If we can help with any further information, if you require any finance figures or you have a part exchange to value, then please do let us know through our website, which is jajarvis.co.uk. We're more than happy to help. Ultimately, we would love to show you the car in person and take you out for a test drive. Thank you very much again for watching, and we'll see you next time.